the biggest sports competition, I think, in cat history. <laughs> ever. If that's in what the history right. of cats. Right? The Kitten Bowl 2 returning here on Hallmark Channel uh, in February. Also back with the return of the game is the iconic sportscaster himself, John Sterling. He is official announcer, sir, of these games. Okay, so as we were saying, it's, this is returning for season two. For people who are just tuning in, didn't see last year, what is it about? What do they see when they tune in? They see adorable kittens going up and down a football field. They built Hallmark, built the Hallmark Stadium. It's right. a beautiful field, and the kittens go up and down, and um, it's it's adorable. It, it's it, terrific. I, I honestly wondered how they're going to get three hours out of this because yeah. it's on Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, the Per Bowl. The and, Per Bowl. And they, it's on twelve to three, and then repeated three to six, and then repeated. Six to nine when yeah. the football game is going on, and it it did so well, and you know the it business did really well. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's back it, because it did so well. well did. Why are you back? Because I know you did it last year, and you had so much fun doing it. was great. It. So yeah. why are you coming back again this year? I I love it. I love working for Hallmark. Yeah. I love doing it. I work with Mary Carrillo, who's yeah. going to be on your show soon. Yep. And um. And it got me uh, away from 20 degrees and snow yesterday <laughs> to come here to L.A. So I'm I'm very well, happy with everything. Uh, let's turn the cute factor up uh, on the show a little bit and show you a clip of what John is telling us about. Here's a little bit of the kitten bowl. <laughs> Go. Oh, sorry, I was spellbound by the cuteness for a moment there. <laughs> All right, well, let's kick things up a notch. Well, here's the kickoff. The Hardys take to their spy defense. Really cute move there by Fitzpatrick. Penalty, unnecessary cuteness. Oh, unnecessary cuteness. Ryan Fitzpatrick needs to harness that cute or it may cost him. Well, you, you, know, you know what makes it even more authentic and believable? It's to see that cuteness, but then to hear your voice. It adds oh, such <laughs> legitimate quality to the whole thing. Well, it's. Uh, I think if people tune in, they'll think, gee, this is great. You know, talk about something for the whole family. Um, it, it is cute, and you see the kittens do terrific yeah. things. Sometimes they jump over the crossbar. Sometimes <laughs> they jump into the stand. So, so I think I, people get a kick out of it. I I will say that, and I'm very, I love my job, but I'm telling you, you have, as a voice of the Yankees, yeah. have found the pot of gold. What an how did it you is, get, it is amazing. How do you get a job like that? You know, you know this. You guys have been on the air for a long time and all. It's not doing the job, it's getting the job. Yeah, exactly. And um, in 1989, I got a call from New York. I was in Atlanta broadcasting the Hawks and Braves. And I got a call, would you be interested in doing the Yankees? And, you know, I didn't want to become an old man and say, I should have done the Yankees. <laughs> so it's been, uh, this is going to be my 27th year. Oh, 27 years of doing that. Wow. Do you have a most, like, memorable Yankee moment? Oh, was I, it recently, I, probably was it. Recent? I never can answer that. I get asked it a lot. You yeah. know, what's the the greatest game you've done? Because I've done all the. I haven't missed a game in 26 years. Times wow. 170 or 175 if we make the playoffs. Not a lot of games. But anyway, there was a stretch in Joe Torre's first year. They hired my buddy Joe Torre. I hear the manager's a buddy of mine, and the Yankees went all the way to the World Series and lost the first two and went to Atlanta. And won the next three in dramatic fashion. We don't have time yeah. to tell you how dramatic. All this time, Joe's older brother, former major leaguer Frank Torrey, was in the hospital awaiting a heart. He needed a donor. So after the Yankees won the fifth game, go back to New York. Friday is off, then Saturday is the sixth game. On that Friday, Frank Torrey got a donor, oh. he got a heart. Uh, and it lasted him 20 years. Oh, he just passed away this oh, year, sure. but 20 years. And if that isn't a Hallmark movie, I don't know yeah, what right, is. Right. <laughs> well, there is, I have to just, the, I, I could not overlook the ring that is on your finger. Yeah. And when you have a chance, if you, yeah, can we get a tight shot of that, yeah, uh, of Mr. That. Sterling's ring? What, what is that, the significance for you? What does that represent when you put it on? 
Well, all my life, you know, I've wanted to wear, um, I never wore a ring, and I, except a wedding ring. And uh, I wanted to wear a ring for a championship team. I was with a championship team, but they ran out of funds, so they didn't give the announcers <laughs> rings. So this is my fifth with the, the Yankees. Wow. This is the last one. This is yeah. 2009. But Beautiful. when we won in 96, the day after Frank Torrey got his heart, uh, right after that, I got uh, the ring and the Yankees. I have nothing to do with it. I just run my mouth. <laughs> they have to play the games. But I, I have five of these now. But you have to be just as, on some level, invested in their success and their ups and downs. Oh, as well. the better they do, the better I do. Yeah, you know? yeah. More, more crowds, better ratings, you know, higher sales, et cetera. So, right. yeah, it's well, good for business. That's how I feel about the kittens. I'm invested in the kittens. Yeah, well, and if they do well, 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 well when you watch it, when you watch it on February 1st, you really get a kick out of it. Yeah. Well, my kids will sit and watch the kittens when they're young, you know, 11 and, and 12. When you watch kittens play, it just puts you, you're, you're jovial. Right. There's nothing you see how carefree they are, and they're so. Listen new to, the world. to these big, strong, strapping <laughs> men talk about kittens. <laughs> I know that you you little were a little bit. Cat. No, but I know you were a little nervous too because this is really you know, baseball, man's man's game, and you were a little worried how your colleagues were going to take. Well, this it. is. I've I've done a lot of different things in the business, but this is the most different thing yeah. I've ever done. But it's they're all supportive of it. They think it's adorable, oh, it's, right? It's tremendous yeah. fun, it really yeah. is. And I going around the American League last year, so many of the other teams' broadcasters would come to me, gee, I saw the kitten bowl. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. I, I couldn't believe I'm it. Telling you, it's it's people, so it, it was a huge success. Yeah. Yeah. If you miss it, um, Don't. you're you're Don't out. Miss You've it. got to watch it this year. It's on Hallmark Channel, Kitten Bowl 2. So if you didn't partake in one, you got a second chance. Premiering February 1st, uh, 12 o'clock Eastern, 11 Pacific. And for weekly Cat Center update videos, yes. you can go to hallmarkchannel.com forward slash cat hyphen center. You see it there, forward slash videos.